नमस्ते सलाम वनकम सत श्रीकाल एंड हो 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 मेरी क्रिसमस वेल अ वेरी मेरी क्रिसमस टू यू फ्रॉम द इंटायर टीम ऑफ जी कनेक्ट आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड आई लव दिस टाइम ऑफ द ईयर व्हेन द होल सिटी केम लाइव विद लॉट्स ऑफ क्रिसमस ट्रीज लाइट्स जिंजर ब्रेड कुकीज वेटिंग फॉर यू टू बाइट इनटू देम एंड सांता गिविंग अवे गिफ्ट्स and of course with the year coming to an end we get all nostalgic and reflective about the passing year and make new resolutions with all the enthusiasm for the coming year well like all good things we have saved the best for the last and technically this is the last episode of the year 2014 so let's kick start this one by checking what's trending on the social media in our section what's buzzing Selfie was declared the Oxford international word for the year 2013 and in the last year in fact it's become the most popular trend on the social media so we decided to compile the best selfies of the year 2014 the top most tweet has to be Ellen's famous Oscars 2014 selfie this actually became the most popular tweet online and the most retweeted tweet of all time and even at the end of the year it remains at the top with about 3. 4 million retweets at its goal the photo bombs that is getting into someone else's selfie either by accident or on purpose this got everyone's attention this year has to be when it is queen elizabeth or beyonce photo bombing your selfies While human selfies were many, what everyone absolutely loved were the fun animal selfies. From the happy camel selfie to the smiling dog selfie with snarling teeth to the elephant who in the zoo accidentally found a visitor's phone and clicked his own Elfie. Of course Bollywood wasn't far behind with much shared selfies of the stars. Shahid Kapoor for one tried to pull off an Ellen at the IFA Awards. Ranbir Kapoor clicked one popular selfie at the NDTV Indian of the Year Awards. And the most powerful selfie has to be this Bachchan family selfie. It included senior and junior Bachchan, Aishwarya, Jaya and Shweta Bachchan all together in one frame. Now this has to be one power packed selfie. Also it was fun to see fashion meet politics. It was an unexpected selfie when Sonam Kapoor took one with Narendra Modi and needless to say it was instantly viral online. And of course the last selfie has to be this one where Parineeti got three generations of actresses together. Tabu, Kajol, Priyanka Chopra, Parineeti herself and Alia Bhatt all together in one frame. This of course got instant likes. Well moving on from selfies it's now time for my favorite video of the year 2014 how often do you come across a girl playing dhol and doing it well well a british pakistani dhol player called rani taj rose to fame in about 2010 when her video of playing dhol on the streets by her friend was recorded she was playing dhol to rihanna's popular song rude boy well the video has been shared ever since a million times and has helped her get more popular and and get more music tours well i never get tired of listening to it or just watch her play so effortlessly well this definitely has to be our video pick of the year How can a social media section be complete without showing you a baby video? The next video that I'm about to show you got about 16 million views. I mean this guy is probably just 2 years old and he's already famous. This child saw about a pair of twins for the very first time in his life and this is how he reacted. I mean looking at your own mirror image for a baby is one thing, but looking at two very similar looking babies at the same time can be totally another one. Well, this is the video, watch it to believe it.
Well, that probably has to be the cutest video of the year 2014. It's now time for us to take a break, but if you're just back from a holiday or on your way to one, or if you've had a lot of nice dinners this week, to send in your family selfies to us and we'll be more than happy to share it on our Twitter or on our Facebook page. Well, it's time for me to take a break, but you stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Shamli on the Christmas special episode of Z Connect. And as you can see, we are still in the Christmas mood. Moving on to our next story. How many of you still catch yourselves watching the ever-famous movie Star Trek and still marvel at what an epic it is? Well, if you are that crazy Star Trek fan, then you're going to be excited to know whom we caught up with. We met up with Sir Patrick Stewart. He was the guest of honour at the annual Shivas Legends dinner and we met him at the Armani Hotel at Burj Khalifa. Well, without any further ado, let's take you to meet the legend. Separation protocols have been reset on board the collector. I can't override. Scan for life signs. One, it is Rafa. Can you beam him up? No, sir. He has raised the shields. Is there any other way to disable the injector? Perhaps. There's more than a little of Captain Picard in me today, despite the fact that it's now many years since I last put on my spacesuit. And that's because there was a lot of me in the character from the very beginning. And the longer that the series began and the longer that we continued with the, the feature films. You are very different from anyone I have ever met. I love my life. I regret my life. The lines eventually blur and it's just my life. Um, we have a trailer out now and it's a very good trailer. And it's an unusual film because essentially there are three people talking. Um, so you can banish from your mind all of those movies, so many of which we've already seen this year, that are that cost hundreds of millions of dollars and have so many special effects and CGI and a huge cast and monsters and so forth. No, these are three people in an apartment talking, but it is not without drama and not without some tragedy too. I always talk to the graduating students about banishing fear from their experience and trusting their own uniqueness and their own unique voice because that is the one thing that is likely to bring them success coupled with hard work as much as anything else. I have not followed closely uh, Bollywood I know what it does, I know the size of its audience, and I know the talent of the people who are creating those movies. And yes, I would love to be a part of the Indian film production. Respect for those closest to us, respect for our colleagues, respect for the people who are just chance encounters, respect for the habits and customs of other people, and most importantly, the ability to every now and again stand in someone else's shoes and see the world they see it. These are all elements that I think can deal with a lot of the injustices in the world and can certainly help to provide a worldview in which people can be shareholders and not aggressors. I'd like to wish everyone at ZTV, the filmmakers, the producers, and the audiences at home a very happy Christmas and a safe and healthy new year. Well, that was the legendary Sir Patrick Stewart for you. Moving on, we went to visit the on-site shoot location for the upcoming Bollywood movie, Welcome Back. It stars Anil Kapoor, John Abraham and is directed by Anis Bazmi. Well, after the first prequel, Welcome, we are of course excited to see the second one. They were shooting at the Khan's Jewelry showroom at the Gold Soup Dera and we met up with both Anil Kapoor and Anis Bazmi. Let's take you straight to the shoot. 
वेल लॉट इज स्पार्कलिंग हेयर टूडे मैं हूँ एट द कांस ज्वेलरी स्टोर एट गोल सूक और यहाँ पे हम एक्चुअली हैं ऑन लोकेशन ऑन द शूट ऑफ द मूवी वेलकम बैक इन अ फ्यू मिनट्स वे एक्सपेक्टिंग एक्टर अनिल कपूर एंड द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द मूवी अनीस बाजमी क्योंकि आज उनकी मूवी का शूट यहाँ पर होने वाला है वेलकम बैक का एंड वी आर ऑल्सो वी टू मीट द ओनर ऑफ कांस ज्वेलरी सो अ लॉट इज हैपनिंग हेयर इन द स्टोर टूडे दर इज अज क्राउड आउटसाइड वेटिंग फॉर एवरी वन सो लेट्स गो एंड मीट एवरी वन So I'm with the director of the movie. Welcome back with Mr. Anis Bazmi, sir. Welcome to Dubai. Thank you so much. आपने जैसे हमें बताया, almost 90 percent of the movie has been shot here. Please tell us something about that. Yeah, actually, वो जो last film हमने बनाई थी, Welcome, जो बहुत बड़ी hit हुई थी, तो वो पूरी film हमारी यहीं पे थी. उसमें भी करीबन 70-75 percent जो है film यहीं पे थी. और बाकी हमने शूट की थी बॉम्बे में और दूसरी जगहों पर बट ये फिल्म जो है मुझे लगता है इट इज़ मोर देन देन 90 परसेंट से ज़्यादा पूरी फिल्म यहाँ है बिकॉज ऑल दी कैरेक्टर्स जो हैं वो सारे यहीं को बेस करते हैं अनिल कपूर नाना पैटेकर ये सब लोग यहीं के लोग हैं सिर्फ एक बॉम्बे का पोर्शन है जिसमें जॉन जो है वो बॉम्बे है बॉम्बे में रहता है और वो यहाँ पर ट्रैवल करते हैं तो उसके बाद पूरी पिक्चर जो है हमने यही बनाई है तो मतलब मूवी के कैरेक्टर्स ही आपने ऐसे बताया दे आर स्टेइंग इन दुबई इन दुबई या 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 मैं बिल्कुल उसको बेस यही रखा है और उसके पीछे वजह ये रही है कि हमारी जो लास्ट पिक्चर थी वो बहुत बड़ी हिट हुई थी और दुबई में हमने शूटिंग की थी उसकी लोकेशन लोगों को बहुत अच्छी लगी थी और सात साल बाद जब अभी मैं आया तो तो मैंने देखा है कि जो लोकेशन है उसमें मतलब चार चांद लग गए हैं जहाँ पर लास्ट टाइम मैंने एक सीन किया था जहाँ डेजर्ट था तो इस बार जब मैं गया तो वहाँ देखा मैंने पूरा सिटी बना हुआ है तो ये मुझे लगता है सिर्फ दुबई में ही हो सकता है और ये वो जगह है मेरे ख्याल से कि एक जो फिल्म मेकर है उसके लिए ये ड्रीम वर्ल्ड है सर वेलकम टू दुबई एंड मुझे अनीस जी बता रहे थे काफ़ी मूवी का पार्ट यहाँ पर शूट हुआ है हाउ आर यू लाइकिंग इट हेयर देखो पूरी फिल्म जो है ये दुबई में बेस्ड है तो मेरे ख्याल से नाइन्टी से ज़्यादा हमने यहाँ शूटिंग की है और आज हम यहाँ इस खूबसूरत जूली शॉप में शूट कर रहे हैं यहाँ सीन ऐसा है कि जो डिम्पल जी और उनकी बेटी का कैरेक्टर है उनको वो जूलरी खरीदने आते हैं तो वैसा कुछ सीन है तो मैं भी आऊँ उसी में सो वेलकम को और अब वेलकम बैक को बीच में सात साल का फ़र्क है आई थिंक मचनू भाई इज इट द सेम कैरेक्टर दैट यू प्लेंग राइट ना हाँ मेरा सेम ही कैरेक्टर है हाँ या कोई चेंज नहीं है कपड़े भी मतलब होता है ना कि लुक वुक सब सेम ही है यू नो कपड़े थोड़े चेंज थोड़ा यू नो शरीफ हो चुका है तो कपड़े कुछ अच्छे पहन रहा है सूट वूट पहन रहा है अदरवाइज सेम कैरेक्टर है वेल आई एम विद मिस्टर अनिल धाना द ओनर ऑफ कांस ज्वेलरी इन दुबई सर वेलकम टू जी कनेक्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू सर वी आर इन वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट शोरूम्स इन गोल्ड सूक टेल अस अ लिटिल अबाउट कांस ज्वेलरी वी आर वी डोंट क्लेम वी आर लार्जेस्ट वी आर वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट वी आर बेस्ड ओनली इन दुबई देयर आर गोल्ड सूक हैव अराउंड 7 ब्रांच बट द काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट वी आर putting on a display for a sale is for all the nationality we have a collection for asians uh, for europeans africans arabs uh, we deal into 22 carat 21 and 18 carat so i also know one thing you are there in the movie welcome back for some particular scenes are you no i uh, uh, it's not me appearing there is a star cast mr anil kapoor and dimple kapadia are you there for a little bit I'll be receiving as a, they are here in our store to do a purchase of a jewelry. So of course, uh, as a receptionist, I have to receive them and guide them to appropriate counter, and then the salesperson will uh, attend them and make the final dealing. So I'm, I'm, this... I'm not acting in the movie. I'm just doing what I am. So I'm not an actor. I'm I'm doing the role which the manager of the store is doing. So I'm I'm in real life. Or real life, it both is the same. So you are in the Guinness World Records not for having this. Manufacturer, not ourselves. We are selling the replica. We are selling the variable size. Like you go to Agra, you have a Taj Mahal, but you buy a Taj Mahal as a souvenir. So if somebody wants to buy a ring as a souvenir. We are selling those rings. 
Well, UAE is always brimming with lots of exciting things to do and that is why we could not miss the three days full of fun at the India Fest 2014. It was organized by Indian Social and Cultural Center Abu Dhabi and it was literally an explosion of colors, entertainment, fun, fine arts and lots of cuisines. Let's take you there. celebrations of the spirit of the union on its national day as honorary president of India Social and Cultural Center. We are extremely happy to conclude the signature event India Fest season five. We have a lot of difference from the previous years. First of all, it's venue, which has gone to 6,000 square meters of area and the stage programs is quite different this year. The stalls are very different. We have become international. We have international entertainment programs and international stalls, international cuisines. And basically India Fest is showcasing our art and culture to all the nationals, all the international expats who are in UAE. Well, time for a short break, but after the break, we have the Asian Business Leadership Forum and the romantic voice of the 90s, Kumar Sanu, lined up for you. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Z Connect with me, Shamali. And as you can see, we are celebrating Christmas and the welcome of the new year here. Well, last week, we took you to the very prestigious ABLF Awards, that is the Asian Business Leadership Forum Awards held at Burj Khalifa Armani Hotel. A platform where Asia's most powerful leaders and decision makers debated on the world issues that mattered. Well, this week, we take you to the business leadership sessions with all these leaders in action. And these are definitely leaders that you should be listening to. A great mix of intellect and words. Let's meet these people one on one. One thing you're taking back today from the leadership forum here? I think the fact that Asia today is relevant, inspiring and has carved for itself a niche in the comedy of continents. I think what's even more important is that all the leaders who've spoken and will be speaking are theming their conversations around governance and around opportunity optimization, which to my mind is, is critical. The fact that it's being held in a city that was carved out of sand and is today the epitome of, you know, expatriate living, of malls, of, of enterprise, of being a financial uh, hub. These are all signals of the fact that Asia can, when it wants to, achieve everything. Sir, your company houses about 10,000 employees, so an obvious leader that we are looking up to. What is the key aspect of being a leader? Uh, leadership by example. And I have been blessed with uh, excellent people. And out of the 10,000 people who I've employed, almost about 85% uh, of the workforce come from India. Wow. And uh, so I could say that the uh, majority of the people and my pillars, uh, people who I've entrusted 
Mm. And people have been with me for all these uh, many years. So I'm with Mr. Fahad Al Rashid, Group CEO and Managing Director, King Abdullah Economic City at Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So welcome to Z Connect. Thank you so much. So you are building the largest private city in the world. Tell us a little more about it. Well, uh, it is the largest private sector project of its kind in the world. It's a $100 billion investment. Wow. Uh, and it is the first publicly, uh, publicly listed uh, city because we are listed on the Saudi Stock Exchange. Right. Uh, the Kingdom launched this project nine years ago. It's a strategic partnership between the government as regulator, facilitator, and the private sector, the developer and the builder. Um, uh, in these nine years, we have established a lot. Mm -hmm. We're focused on making the Kingdom and Camp Delight Nam City in particular a global uh, mm. logistics and manufacturing hub. Uh, we have a mega port as well as an industrial zone that we've already attracted 82 companies uh, wow. to set out of. And the idea is simple. We want to serve um, the Red Sea region, which is all the countries mm. on East Africa and in, in the Middle East mm. and uh, in, in Asia. And that is a 600 million person market today. And it is the uh, next frontier for the world mm. in terms of growth. It will mm. be about 1.3 billion by 2050. Wow. Mm. Well, moving on to some music and entertainment, the romantic voice of the 90s, Kumar Sanu, was in Dubai along with singer Palak Muchal for a show aptly titled Ashiki Se Ashiki Tak. Well, the press conference was held at Millennium Hotel Sheikh Zayed Road and we met the voices behind the show. के रियलिटी शोज में से जितने लोग आ रहे हैं उनको अभी मेन स्ट्रीम में आने में थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा क्योंकि हमारे फिल्म इंडस्ट्री जो है अल्टीमेट जो है उसका काम बोलता है बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट है इसमें अभी हाल ही में रंगलीनी रिलीज हुआ एंड यशराज मूवीज का दम लगा के हिस्सा जब कोई बात बिगड़ जाए जब कोई मुश्किल पड़ जाए तुम देना साथ मेरा ओ हम नवा न कोई है न कोई था जिंदगी में तुम्हारे सिवा तुम देना साथ मेरा ओ हम नवा Dubai mein perform karna obviously mujhe bahut zyada acha lagta hai sabse special baat dubai ke audience ki ye hai ki aisa nahi hota ki yahan par sirf purane ya sirf naye gaane pasand kiye jaye har gaane ko itna zyada pyar milta hai itna zyada apna pan dete hai yahan ke log ki jab main yahan par concerts karti hu performances karti hu tab mujhe lagta hi nahi ki main you know formally stage par ga rahi hu perform karte mujhe aisa lagta hai ki family mein show de rahi hu i along with my brother do shows for heart patients across the world and so far we have been able to raise 3.26 crores for 657 heart operations so it's been a fantastic journey jab maine start kiya tha i didn't know ki ye you know itna bada mission ban jayegi choti pehal ke taur par maine start kiya tha but sabse itna zyada pyar mila itna support mila itni duaye mili ki khud ko bahut khush naseeb samajhti hu tu hi ye mujhko bata de chahu main ana अपनी तो दे का पता दे चाहू मैं आना इतना बता दो तुझको चाहत पे अपनी मुझको यूं तो नहीं इख्तियार फिर भी ये सोचा दिल अब जो लगा हूँ मिलने पूछू तुझे एक बार तू ही ये मुझको बता दे आशिकी से लेकर आशिकी टू तक यानी कि इन दोनों के बीच में मैं फंस गया हूँ बीच में हूँ कॉमेडियन शामिल खेरा ने मुझे कहा कि वीआईपी तुम हमेशा लोगों का बैंड बजाते हो उनकी खिंचाई करते हो क्या तुम गा सकते हो तो मैंने बोला गा सकता हूँ नहीं मैं गा के दिखाऊंगा मेरे अंदर है सुखविंदर 
आपने गाना सुना होगा जिंदगी तो बेवफा है एक दिन ठुकराएगी अगर ये गाना सुखविंदर पाजी गाएंगे तो कैसे गाएंगे हाउ जिंदगी तो बेवफा है हाउ एक दिन ठुकराएगी हाउ मौत महबूबा है हाउ साथ लेकर मर के जी नहीं जी के मर नहीं के अदा दिखलाएगी Since this is the last story of this episode I do want to take you to a wonderful event called the India Art Month. It is a month long exhibition still on till the 4th of January 2015 and if you are a true art lover do head to Musaffa Art Hub Abu Dhabi and this is what you'll get in store. स्टार्टिंग में जब हम लोग यहाँ पे आए तो इन लोगों ने पूरा डेजर्ट के एरिया डिफरेंट प्लेसेस के विज़िट करवाया और पहले तो इन्होंने फर्स्ट वीक पूरा इन्जॉयमेंट करवाया ताकि हम लोग यहाँ के आर्ट एंड कल्चर को अच्छे से समझ पाए उसके बाद में इन्होंने हमसे बोला कि आप ने जो यहाँ पे देखा है डेजर्ट के इन्वामेंट और यहाँ के जो सिटीज़ का डेवलपमेंट हुआ है और हिस्टोरिकल प्लेस को दिखाया है उन सारी चीज़ों को अपनी नज़र में रखने के बाद में आप उसको ड्रा करना है I um have recently moved to the UAE and after which I applied to the artist residency program here at Art Hub Abu Dhabi and um we've been basically me as long with uh, four other artists from India have been hosted by Art Hub and have been creating works um all of our works are in response to the local culture and um this is my series on abayas women in uh, traditional attire here in the UAE one thing as it was it was very spontaneous so uh, i came here with an empty mind i just started thinking about what i could do from here and just collected some of the visuals and some of the objects just try to uh, follow my intuition and most of the result comes very accidentally just normally that process i really enjoyed because i am very confident that i can follow up this method of practice Uh, the objective for the target or the uh, you know the intent of this uh, uh, art center is to serve uh, first the community introduce the art uh, to the public and encourage uh, tra- uh, exchange or uh, cultural exchange uh, between UAE and the world Once again wishing you a merry christmas this year actually try being someone secret santa and the joy you will receive will be unforgettable agar kuch nahi to apne liye gift khareed lena do share with us any new year resolutions that you may have i would say don't have any just take one day at a time and you'll be absolutely fine well this is shamli wishing you a merry christmas and a happy new year once again i will see you next year bye bye